Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. So for this video, I'm going to be taking you guys through a few basic shoulder and arm exercises that I do for my shoulder and arms workouts, obviously. Um, I usually base my arms and shoulder day around uh, a combination of pressing movements and doing flies for my shoulders. And then when I go into my arms workout part of things, I usually just do a little bit of a superset between doing some kind of bicep curl and tricep exercise. Usually it's like just because it's convenient, I do like cable bicep curls and uh, tricep pushdowns with the cables as well. But I usually start off my workout pretty light, my shoulders especially, <laughs> that it's winter time. I'm like a really big wimp during the winter time. Like during the summer, I can wake up at like 5 in the morning and go to the gym. During the winter time, man, it's so hard to wake up early and then you get up and it's, you're still cold and it takes me forever to get warmed up. So I take a long time for my to let my shoulders sort of get warmed up before I start putting heavy weight on them. And for a while, I've been doing even my dumbbells uh, standing. It felt pretty good, but uh, this workout actually I went and did some you know seated little military press or dumbbell shoulder press things, and it felt a lot different on my uh, on my front delt, and so I thought I might continue doing them like that because um, for the second part of my shoulder exercises I'm actually doing um, kind of like overhead press with a with a bar, so I feel like if I'm doing seated stuff with for dumbbells really engaging the front delt, and then I'm doing overhead press, which kind of brings in a little bit more of the middle part of my shoulders, because I'm actually, you know, putting it all the way up above my head, instead of a little bit more forward, because I tend to lean back a bit when I'm doing um, the dumbbell presses seated, might it might end up helping my shoulders out a lot. And for my flies, I, or the lateral raises, I always call them flies, for lateral raises, um, a lot of times I'm just alternating to see, just depending on which which part of my shoulders don't feel like they're getting, you know, blood moving in them. So I'll do a combination of a little bit to the front, a little bit to the side, but I'm definitely trying to involve my rear delts a lot too. So in that, in that last little um, lateral raise that you saw me doing, I was pretty lean, I was leaned over pretty far. That allows me to really target my rear delts as well. So for all these exercises, I'm basically just, you know, going through the weights. I'm doing, you know, starting off with like easy, you know, reps of like 15. And then as I increase the weight, I'll drop the reps by like one or two, depending on how heavy it is. And then there at the end, I was doing, I think, 70s. And I was still trying to go for as many reps as possible. Um, but I'm not dropping down to like super low reps on shoulders. I'm not doing like things I can only do sets of four of. Not yet, at least. But um, after I get done with my dumbbells... And uh, I'm swapping over to the just doing like uh, curls and overhead press with the barbell. And in previous arms and shoulders workouts, I was actually having um, bicep curls be part of like my shoulder press and uh, lateral raise combo. But this time I took the curls out of that rotation just because I wanted to really focus more on keeping my shoulders involved and not let them get as much rest. Um, but this time I put my uh, bicep curls in with this one still because I thought, why not? We'll, we'll keep... Uh, We'll keep the arms involved a little bit, but um, I was just doing overhead press with curls, superset. But I would, honestly, I would go and grab um, some really light dumbbells and do a little bit more uh, lateral raises during that exercise as well, just because I think that was a really good exercise and it was feeling good that day. And then to finish up my arms and shoulders workouts, I will, like I said, I'll often do some sort of uh, tricep push on. This time I was doing it with a rope. And uh, for these, I'm really trying to keep my elbows really still and sort of almost imagine, you know, moving the weight with as far high and back on my arm as I can, you know, really trying to make that tricep get it as involved as it possibly can. It's kind of like a weird visualization kind of thing, really focusing the work high and far back on my arm as possible. And then for these, um, the bicep curls, I'm doing them almost with my elbows a little bit more out in front than I normally would, just because it feels really interesting with the way it makes my bicep peak and the fullness that I get on the contraction. So that all feels really good. And I do a lot of these workouts based on feel. So if you're getting an interesting response from your muscles from doing exercises a certain way, that's fine. Just make note of that and see what, see how you can sort of incorporate that in your workouts for the next time. But that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Really simple exercise that you guys can try for your arms day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!